Space News is brought to you by General Motors of Canada and all of its divisions. mission is the first of its kind to be privately funded. It was made possible by a group of investors collectively called Mircorp. And I had a chance this morning to speak with Richard Godwin, who is on the board of the Space Frontier Foundation, on how things were progressing. The first job is to get everything back up, spit and span, um, and then after that I believe that there will be quite a few different uh, commercial you know, things going on. Uh, one of the things I believe that's been done is that there's they're going to be flying an electrodynamic tether, and the electrodynamic tether um, is a major part of the future of the space, space station. And what it is, is um, it's basically an electric motor that will reboost the station without having to use rocket fuel. Well, with this private um, organization, how long do you think they'll have to keep funding it before it becomes a burden? Um, I believe that Miracorp has actually gone to Wall Street for... Uh, investors mm -hmm. and that they, they are looking towards uh, end of May, beginning of June uh, for uh, private invest other investors to come on board. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if they're going IPO right now. Right. Uh, it's possible. Um, if they don't do that, then the two main investors uh, will be asked to put uh, more of the money up. I believe so far they've put up about $30 million between the two of them. But those of us in the space business understand that something in orbit is priceless compared to what's on the ground. So when we talk about renovation of the Mir, the battle is half over. It gets me up early in the morning. This is a wonderful project that knows no weekends, that knows no evenings, that, that we are trying to save a ship that needs some help. Ready to land? As of today, I think the whole uh, issue of uh, manned spaceflight is changing. Oh. But, uh, we're finally opening up the frontier, or the start of the frontier, and it could be a, a major date um, in, in history. I'm going to step off the land now. That's one small step for man, one giant.